Wounded warriors and a new leash on life. Sit. Good boy. If seeing is believing, it's easy to realize why. They are a unit, they are a team, they cannot be broken. Tri-State Honor Dogs rescues local shelter pups and turns them into tail-wagging miracles for vets and first responders. After 28 weeks of training, tonight is the first ever graduating class. It's the difference between night and day and life and death. Reuben Payne was deployed to Iraq for a year when his Humvee rolled over. I was the gunner and so I had the entire Humvee on top of me. I was knocked unconscious for about three minutes. He's recovered from internal injuries but still battles with PTSD. Now Stuart, his three-year-old beagle mix, does something for him no bandage could ever fix. I still am not comfortable around crowds, but as you can see, my service dog Stuart, he, uh, he helps calm me down, grounds me, and you know lets me know that it's all right. It gives them another reason to live, another um, breath of fresh air, breath, breath of life. For some vets, that's easier said than done. Yeah, um, re uh, readjustment wasn't easy. Matthew Templeton still struggles with depression and PTSD. But with Sparta by his side, the road gets easier. He, he kind of keeps me grounded and uh, focused. The healing continues as the bonding begins. They say it's undeserved. Because I still look at myself as uh, uh, not self-deserving. No, sir, I'm, I'm not a hero. The men and women that died were heroes. Uh, I uh, always put everybody before myself. It's very hard to feel that I've earned anything. Truth is, honor dogs feel no one deserves it more. They serve for the country, they protect us, and the least we can do is give them a dog that will help protect them. Good boy. In Evansville, Stuart Hammer, Eyewitness News.